A jab can be a single jab, it can be a double jab, it can be a triple jab, it can be a jab high to the head, it can be a jab high to the body, it can be a jab high to the body. As we punch out, it's more of a parallel punch. The two biggest knuckles should be actually making contact with the target. As she returns that jab back home, we can actually throw out the vertical jab, very similar to what they do in Kung Fu, the vertical jab. Why? Because if my guard is tight here, the vertical jab is a very good weapon to use. If her, she returns her hand and goes back to the horizontal jab, the guard cannot be broken. However, she brings it back and goes to the vertical jab, it will go, it will force through. I'm not, I'm not creating magic here, it does what it does. So this jab hand is very important for the usage of boxing, but also as a find up in distance. If we're talking about distance here, we can actually just jab stationary, or we can actually step jab to find distance again. So we go from the stationary jab to the step jab. So we're covering distance. Again, jab. Jab in, jab out. This is the long jab, yes? Only half of the punch here, people. Everyone forgets there's two mechanisms to a punch. That's one, and two is the return back home. Most people will jab out nice and long and straight, and I guarantee you they'll drop, drop their hand down low, which can be countered with the right cross. Again, the line is straight out. One and two, yes. One and two. So the jab hand is very important. If she likes a double jab, one, two. When we're punching, when we're boxing, we like to breathe out, creating the energy and also tensing our stomach and our midsection up. If we do get a punch to the body, it's going to hit resistance. If we don't breathe, the tummy is nice and soft and tender and it will tickle a bit. So it's very important. We start needing to breathe with a single jab, double jab, Triple jab, jab to the body, followed by a cross. That's the major punch we're after. For the jab, sitting up the cross. Boom. So only remember, only one punch can occupy the space at one particular time. So if she jabs, I jab back and she jabs again, it's just off the front hand. So this front hand, this jab, does a lot, has a lot of work ethic here, and basically, this is why we, why we call it the jab. The jab hand and jab foot is the lead hand, okay? This is what we're after, the lead hand. Usually the first punch we teach, it's the first punch you throw, but also it can be used as offensive and defensive. So if Hershey jabs here, and I throw a cross back, she can cover with that same hand. So that's why it's very important, ladies and gentlemen, that we take it back to where it goes to cover. So we jab and cover from that same lead hand, and she can just jab back, jab, cover, jab, boom, jab, cover, jab. So it's very important, the lead hand for the jab. We'd like you to practice, 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 repetition, 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 and see how you go. For those people who are always eager or, or curious about their, go out and check it out and, and have a look at the academies and have a look at the dojos and the martial arts industry because it certainly is growing now. We're in the forte of the MMA. I go back to UFC 1, which was back on the days of the VHS days, with Royce Gracie and the BJJ. So um, going to the fights also were part of the, the martial art training. So seeing great fighters like John Wayne Parr and, and Michael Zambetis. Great promoters like Bob Jones and like Sam Greco and Stan the Man Longinetis fight. So yeah, my history is long. I don't know everything. I'm certainly still a student of martial arts and I think I always will be. For those people who are always keen or curious or just not able to get out there, make some spare time for yourself because it's just not the mental attitude, it's the spiritual and connection with yourself. You know, you can certainly learn a lot about yourself in the martial arts. It's very very hard sometimes to um, have self-control. Um, the background to martial arts will lead you down that path and journey to a, a bigger and better fulfillment of life. So 
I think martial arts has and always will have a place in our society and it's always for the better, uh, definitely not for the worst. So I uh, wish you all the best and good luck with that uh, little jab from my, myself, Brian Oates, and my wife, Hershey Oates. Keep punching. Thank you.